We're back in 1979 again, and this time we're looking at a majestic set. Hoo -hoo. This is the second year of this set with a slight tweak because it was new in 1978 and really, really fabulous. So there's our little um, Milky Bar kid with it. Okay, we've already looked at the R783 GWR freight set and the R784 LMS local goods set. I just don't have um, enough money to buy all these other sets, but there you go. We've looked at the R788 GWR branch passenger set too. Now here we are. The R791 LMS Express passenger set. The LMS Coronation class and the matching express rolling stock of the late 1930s were designed by Stania with sustained high speed running in mind. The impressive Hornby set recaptures the power and speed of the housing days of railway travel. This contained the RO66 LMS Coronation class 462 Duchess of Sutherland, two of the R433 LMS composite coaches, that's first and third class to you and I, Two of the R434 LMS brake third coaches. Eight R605 sections of track, which were far too low a radius. That's first radius, and you needed minimum second, preferably third radius for this um, because of the length of the carriages and the length of the locomotive. But there you go. That's what they put in the starter set. Three of the R600 uh, straight pieces of short track with two R601s, which were the double link versions of that, and an R620 re-railer and coupler. So that's the same length as the R600. You also got an R602 power clip, an R629 level crossing, signals, two of, a home and an away, a card tunnel and the catalogue. And you needed 145 by 79 centimetres or 57 inches by 31. And that is your beautiful looking locomotive. And what you got in the whole kit and caboodle, there's your layout. So let's have a look at what it actually looked like and featured. Okay, so obviously you got the paperwork. You got the 1979 catalogue with it. You also got the International Service Dealer Network paperwork. The Locomotive Operation and Maintenance paperwork. This has actually got the Duchess of Sutherland on the front of it. We open that up. You can see it's a, it's a double page spread. It's on its side, but that'll give you an idea. So this shows the various different motors in the various different um, locomotives available at the time. Including that one at the back there. So there's your tender drive for the Duchess class. Your train set operating instructions. Front and rear. And a price list. So let's have a look here. What have we got? The LMS Express Passenger Set. £41.45 or 47.42 with the power controller. So you're talking quite a bit of money there. So 1979, 50 quid wasn't peanuts. You could probably get the sex pistols for that. <laughs> no, probably not. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, the skids, the ruts, something like that. You know, one of the, one of the lesser bands. But anyway, so that's what it looks like in the catalogue. The reality looks like this. So you've got the R911 controller, which quite frankly was underpowered for it, especially as it's an express set. You had the R620 re-railer and uncoupler. You had the uh, level crossing. You had a distance signal and a home signal. I know I call them home and away, but there you go. You had a card tunnel. And you had the power clip. But what we really want to know is about the train. There you have it. The LMS Princess Coronation Class, the Duchesses. So this is the Duchess of Sutherland with her rake of four coaches spreading into the background. So what I'm going to do is shift myself over here 
get a look as they come round. Light up headlights on the locomotive. So there you've got the Duchess of Sutherland. You've got the brake third, the composite third and first, composite third and first, and another brake third. In that order. As you can see, you have an uncoupling ramp <laughs> that works very well. So let's go into reverse and let's see what we can do. See if we can connect it all up without crashing, smashing, pushing everything off. Nope. Let's go manual. Click. Look at that, aren't they just beautiful? So the first time I actually specifically asked for a locomotive, it was for a Duchess class, the Duchess of Abercorn, which featured in the mail set of the 1981 catalogue. My parents managed to get me the Duchess. Oh, it's done it again. It's a beauty, isn't it? So I wanted the Duchess of Abercorn. I actually wanted the Royal Mail postage set, but I didn't specifically say that. I wanted the Duchess of Abercorn. And um, my parents hunted high and low for that until eventually they found it. All around Norfolk and Suffolk they went and eventually got it at Langley's and Norwich. So as you can see, this is a far larger layout than previous ones that I've depicted little GWR freight set and branch passenger sets. So you've got the, the circles, then you've got obviously one section of 16.8, which would be your smallest oval. Then your next oval up would have two sections of it. And then this one has a central fillet as well of a double length of a 33. So you've got one, two, three. You've got about a metre or so. 16, 32. So you've actually got a metre in between the circle formed by the two halves of the R605 curves, first radius curves. And this is your R791 LMS Express passenger set of 1979.